All right, so we just got this computer in for a repair. The customer said he's had it for over a year. It was working fine. It was actually his cottage computer. So he has a main computer at home, which I guess we built for him. And this one was his cottage computer. So he wasn't at the cottage for about six months uh, for the whole winter period. Said he went there last week and goes to turn it on, doesn't turn on. So obviously, let's go ahead and repair it. I got my power cable and uh, Let's see if it actually doesn't turn on. Well, it doesn't turn on. So let's go ahead and fix it. I'm gonna go through step by step just so you guys get an idea of like the process that I think about when I'm repairing a computer. This one, I don't think it's gonna be too difficult. My thoughts right before I even start is, first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna check the power cable just to see if the power button is working or not. I wanna try to short the power connections. If that doesn't work, my thought is he's had it at the cottage and all winter didn't touch it and all of a sudden it stops working could be something power related maybe he had it plugged in and you know power went off or something maybe it ruined the power supply if it's not that i'm thinking it could be the motherboard however this is an older gen motherboard so let's go ahead and begin so i got my little repair sheet here doesn't turn on so pretty simple first thing we're gonna do is lay the computer down just like so Beautiful. I'm gonna move the monitor out of the way, keyboard, just so I can get it more in frame for you guys. So right here at the bottom, you'll see the little power connector. If you unplug it and use something metal, like a screwdriver, you can actually short the motherboard, turn on the computer. So let's go ahead and see if that works. And it doesn't work. And it is plugged in, power is on. So if, if it's still not jumping, then it's not the power button, that's for sure. I think it could be either the power supply, maybe motherboard. So let's go ahead and get a new power supply in. Now, if the computer was turning on and it just wasn't displaying, that would be a completely different issue. But because it's not even powering on at all, it could be power supply related. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an external power supply. How do I do that? Pretty simple. First, we take out his power supply connectors. So start with the GPU, because that's always the easiest to unplug. And then the next thing I do is the 24 pin power. That actually came off really easy. So that's interesting. Maybe it wasn't plugged in fully. Do you think reseeding it might help? I think maybe we'll reseed it, because this the, the 24 pin came out like butter. Like I didn't even have to do anything, so. And. So I'm going to power the, power the thing down first. Not that it's going to make a difference, but... Okay. Also, he has his RAM in the wrong slot, but that's a separate issue. So let's deal with the power. I turned the power back on. I reseated the 24 pin. And there's still no sign of life. So reseating didn't help. I don't think it was a loose connection. Let's go ahead and remove that 24 pin again. Let's go ahead and remove the GPU cables and obviously the CPU cable at the top, the 8 pin. That one's always a little difficult, but we're going to get it out. I find getting the CPU like 8 pin out is very difficult if you have a radiator mounted at the top. Luckily for us, he mounted his radiator on the side, so it makes my job a lot easier. And so what we do is I'll take the power supply, I'll kind of just put it off to the side right here and then I'll start connecting the 24 pin, the CPU. Technically, you don't really need to connect the GPU one because it's gonna power on if you don't regardless. So, less work. Let's go ahead, we got the CPU. And I'm not gonna connect the GPU because it's a power on issue. So, I mean, if it's the power supply, it'll power on either way. So let's go ahead, move the power cable from the actual PC and put it into the external. Just like so. And let's go ahead and try to short it again. Woo! And it works. So unfortunately he has a dead power supply. So my thought is most likely he had it at the cottage. He didn't use it for six months. It was probably plugged in. There was probably a big heavy storm or something that took out the power and busted his power supply. Uh, I already tried reseeding it. So at this point it's confirmed. Uh, something that you can do is if, if your power supply comes with the little 24 pin connector, you can actually connect it, turn on the power supply. If the fan spins, then you know the power supply is okay, I guess. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not. If even that doesn't work, there's no fan spinning, then 
that's that. But please power down, connect the PCIe cables for this graphics card, obviously. But we know that the issue is the power supply. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, swap out his power supply. First, I'm gonna call him though, make sure he's okay with the power supply swap. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and do the swap, get his PC all ready. So we actually got pretty lucky with this repair. It wasn't difficult at all. We found out the issue pretty fast. So in case you do the same steps and you find that the power supply is working and it's not this, the next thing I will try is either reseating the RAM, possibly the CPU. I've seen some times where the CPU isn't making proper contact and it actually doesn't allow the PC to turn on at all. If it's not the CPU, very, very likely it's a faulty motherboard or a dead motherboard. That's usually, if it's not the power supply it or CPU, it's usually that. So try out those steps. But first things first, try to make sure it's not the power button because that's the easiest. Second, try doing a power supply swap. If the power supply swap doesn't work, your computer is still not turning on, then go ahead and try, try to reseat the CPU and possibly worst comes to worst, it might be a faulty motherboard. In the case of our customer, he's pretty lucky because a power supply, it's honestly not that expensive to swap. He can actually probably RMA his because most power supplies, he has an 850 in there. Most power supplies come with a warranty of at least five to 10 years. So he should still be under warranty. Um, and yeah, it's, it's one of the parts that's not the most expensive to swap. Thank God it's not his graphics card, his CPU or his motherboard. So without further ado, let's get this power supply swap and let's get his computer up and running. And be right back, let me call him. So I just got off the phone with the customer. He said that he thinks there might still be some warranty left on the power supply that he currently has. So one of the services that we do offer at Gamertech is we can, on your behalf, attempt an RMA, which means we speak to Corsair, whatever company it's from. If it is faulty and based on the serial number, it might still be under warranty. So we can ship it on your behalf, talk to the company and try to get you a new one. Um, so he decided just to go that route. So we're gonna wait until uh, we're gonna message Corsair, send them the serial number and hopefully it's still under warranty. That would be cheaper for him. And um, yeah, so we're not gonna swap it on this video, but we at least we found the problem. So go ahead and try those steps yourself. If you're having the same issue and let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if things aren't working for you. And I'll try my best to respond to you guys. Till the next video, love you guys, a peace. Okay, now let's start through the guy.